We're going to talk about what we've been up to this week. We've done a few different things this week, which is pretty cool. So, um, do you want to start? Yeah, it's been quite an exciting week. Um, we started off by talking to um, a lady from the local radio media, media company, Works. Media Works. Mm -hmm. So they do like digital advertising in front of your TV that you can watch um, when you watch On Demand. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what they call it in other countries. Um, but you can play like 30 second or 15 second uh, adverts. Yeah, those really annoying ads when you settle in and you want to watch your TV show online and you know how they have those 30 second or 15 second ads that you can't skip. That's what we're making. One yeah, of those. One of those. And we want to make it cool and we want to make it animated. Um, we thought about doing ourselves but thought, nah, let's have some cool yeah. animated characters. Yeah. And so it's been a little bit of an interesting process. It has, it has. I've never actually made an animated ad before. Nah, nah. So we, yeah, we found a person that can do it. Uh, he started off writing a script. Mm -hmm. wasn't <laughs> quite what we were looking for. No, was, there's been a little bit of back and forth with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we found somebody local who came up with an idea that, that's really cool. So um, we've passed that over to the animator and he's also given us a list of like voice artists with different accents um, so we looked at some New Zealand accents and I think we we decided on Australian, Australian. Yeah, yeah an Australian accent that was, was really fun that process listening to the voices yeah some of the voices were quite mm, interesting yeah they were <laughs> interesting it was good uh, so yeah we picked a, a male person and he's done two different versions uh, the first version was quite sort of slow and so we said like it up a bit yeah yeah um and we've seen the first slide of what it could look like and we've gone back with some suggestions because it's quite sort of formal and i wanted more of a, a bit of a fun more of a fun approach i think yeah yeah with this ad i actually thought that we'd sort of just give him a basic outline of what we wanted he'd come back with something but it's actually been mm. a really sort of um we've had a lot of input there's been a lot of back and forth and we've actually it had has. to provide quite a lot of quite a lot of feedback for, for yeah. everything that he's providing which is good because it means that he's obviously wanting to make sure that we get it the way that we want it that's right and i think that's that's one of the well it's both the good and the bad thing with any sort of media company that you go to you kind yeah. of think oh i can go to this company and they can do my marketing but they just don't understand the business the way we do or what we're yeah. trying to get across yeah and i find we always have to actually come back and actually think about it ourselves yeah, that's right. But we ask, he's asking us the questions that we really need to ask ourselves. Yeah, right? that's yeah, right. Totally. Yeah, what have you been up to this week? Um, so let's just jump a little bit back to last week. We went to um, a workshop, Greg and I to a workshop in town here. Um, and it was a seven secrets to success for, yes. a, for startup companies. Um, it was really good. It was so good, yeah. So, and one of the things I took away from that was one of my goals was to work more on direct contact. Um, we do a lot of digital marketing videos and things like that, but I'm not making enough direct contact with actual humans to sell the product. And um, as we said in a video that we did maybe last week, that um, my sales are one thing that I want to work on. So direct contact is going to help with that. So um, after the workshop, actually, the lady who arranged the workshop sent out an email and CC'd everybody who went to the workshop into the email. So I took that as oh. an opportunity. <laughs> yeah, to instead of BCCing, she CC'd. So I took that as an opportunity and emailed the people on the course. And I've made, um, I've got a couple of sign-ups and I've made an appointment. I've got an appointment today to meet up with someone to sort of show them through the product, which is really good because it helps me as well sort of um, get a feel for what people are looking for. And I think you said rather than making it sort of spammy or anything like that, because we had just recently met yeah. the people, I think, didn't you word it in a way where they sort of thought, oh yeah, this is like part of the course almost? Yeah, I did. What I said to them, um, because we were all on this course together and we all did the activities together, I said, um, I pointed out that um, one of my goals for this certain activity that we did was to make more direct contact with people and I sort of was a little bit cheeky and said what better opportunity than having your email sent to me accidentally um, so and I got a lot of good responses from yeah. that um, people sort of saying like oh wow I love the email yes this is great you know um, some people I didn't hear from at all which is fine but it's, it's nice it makes you feel good when people are responding yeah. to what you're putting out there 
And yeah. I think the fact that it wasn't a male chimp sort of e email, like we're yeah, it was actually it, from it. yeah, it was actually from a my email, email address. So it was, yeah. yeah, and I had been so as part of that process, you had a few people come back to mm. you. And what has been sort of the next step that you've taken them on as, as part of this? Have you... uh, so they've signed up, yep. and I'm really into. I know it takes time to mm -hmm. sort of uh, learn software and sort of get your head around it. You've got to put time into it. So I've been helping people with getting started and actually uh, making a sample form, like order forms for them to get started and um, then they'll give me feedback or I can tell them ways that they can use the order form and how it can help their business and things like that. So um, order form, I've created a couple of order forms this week. Didn't you create one like a Christmas present list or something? I did, like yeah, that? that was an order form. Um, oh, I got an right. email from a lady who was trying to, um, she had she had a PDF and on it she said to order, call me on this number or send me an email and I went back to, I created an order form for her where you could select the the products yeah, and I put pictures in it, it looked really good yeah. and um, so then on that PDF it was a link, it just said order now so people could go straight oh, to the perfect. form, fill it out, she didn't have to worry about checking her email or phone calls or anything like that, it was all in yeah. one place, so we've had yeah. a good week. And, great. and when you're doing a survey as well? Or? Yeah, that's right. So everybody that um, has signed up this week, um, I'm sending out a survey just to see what they think of the product. And well. how are you doing that survey? With easy peasy forms, obviously. Of course. So I need to make it look really cool as well. So yeah. I'm, it's just taking it's a little bit of time. From, in it. Yeah, I'm yeah. like going away from it, coming back to it. So oh, yeah. I'll hopefully have that out today. Awesome. Yeah. Sounds good. And yeah, one of the people that we did a, a order form for is actually bringing us a delicious platter platter. Yeah, yeah mm. beautiful platter. Yeah, so uh, good. Looking forward to it lunchtime. Yeah. Yeah. She makes oh. it herself. Yeah. So amazing. So that's pretty much our week. Uh, so it's been a busy one, and we'll keep you up to date with how our video is going, and show you it. Um, we'll upload it to YouTube once our animated video is done. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, it's gonna be really cool. Anyway, thanks, guys. Any questions, put them in the comments below. Thanks.